UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go, well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can do it up. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. There is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Lee's 
nice kick attempt. That one was blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Missed with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go now. Big kick land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He is all about that left kick to the body. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Big kick. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Great punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, big head kick. There, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Nice, sneaky head kick. All right, so he lands a jab there, pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. 15 seconds to go. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Round two, Round two straight ahead. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Clipped him with the right hand there. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with a four. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Switching stances here. Blood now trickling down from the eyebrow. That shot cut him. Beautiful punch. Oh. Big head kick. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. What a body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Blocks the shot to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands through the middle. Next with a right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Massive knee lands from the tie punch. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, huge block! Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice punch land over the top. 15 seconds. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. We take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Head kick. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, needed the head. Beautiful kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have to get when he's going to throw a knee. Dig and kick. Able to check that kick as well. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. And he switches his stance yet again. Just misses with that one. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. here, and they separate. Big punch lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eyes, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Good stick. Real quick leg kick. Got the singles collar tie. And they separate. Spinning back fist. That was a thudding leg kick. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 
Look at him put his hip into that kick. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here, and for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Came of inches like that, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily. Win. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Nice punch, man. Big knee there to the chest. How about that chin? to the body shots now, that one blocked. Uh, glancing right hand upstairs. Pretty sad. Well, to the left side. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes... Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just unable to quite find that range. Under two minutes to go. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up now. Oh, collar tie. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice straight punch. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. 
Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Nice strike. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Look at him drive his shins to the whole body with that body. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Single collar tie now. That's a big strike right there. Nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Keep your hands up. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Able to check the high kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big head kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice loop as one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Beautiful body to land right on the elbow. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Why does he elbow? Back and forth we go here. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Body kick is blocked. You got to check these low leg kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. you got to just start letting everything fly. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He lands with the left. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Big kick lands. That's a good right hand. Big head kick land. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Great. Good work. Let's work from that clinch now. Let's work from that clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Lee's kick is blocked. Massive knee to the body lane. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, 
He might be out. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, spinning. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice kick. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46. 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.